Hey there, welcome back guys. Today we're going to be, you got that spinning beach ball? Well, we've got you covered. We're gonna put that to an end and make it stop. You're in Final Cut Pro X on your Macintosh and um, it just keeps spinning when you're trying to either splice files, add effects to it, and it's just driving you crazy. Well, in this video, we got you covered. Here's the solution. So without any further ado, let's get started. Why this happened? Uh, because let me show you what to do to prevent this from happening again first. Okay. So you're going to go into your Apple computer. I don't think anyone says Macintosh anymore, right? All right. So knowing that moving forward, go into your system settings and you're going to go click on general. Okay. And then you're going to go uh, about, make sure you're, you're running the latest, right? But under about, right? If we go back to general, or if we go to software update, um, you're going to click here. Hopefully it won't do anything. It shouldn't do anything. Uh, see, I have beta off, but if you have here security responses, uh, make sure everything's off. You can check for updates. I do that. I'd highly recommend checking for updates. Um, don't download anything new. Don't install any updates. Uh, install application updates from App Store. No, nothing. You want to make sure you monitor and know what's happening so that this does not happen again. Knowing that and moving forward, we can click done. And look, just as I'm talking about it, it looks like uh, there are some updates here. We go back to general and about. Um, there was a software update, but we're not, we're not going to push anything because we don't want this to happen again. All right. Knowing that and moving forward, close everything out. Now, the next thing you want to do is this, because I, I'm not sure if you were as lucky, um, before I had updated, right. I, if you go into your applications, actually, uh, what you want to do is click on it, right. And then right click, control click, and then, um, you want to compress it so it turns in whoops so it turns into a zip file and just gets smaller so you can transfer it onto an external hard drive so that down the line you can revert back to it if something like this ever happens again and until there's a, a fix on it either by me or someone else on youtube okay knowing that and moving forward so as you can see here if i go back into the external hard drive i'm just going to close this out uh we'll just bring that to the front and if we go here i have you know view by by name. Okay. And if I go, where is it? Just going to look for it. Ah, let's do view by name. There we go. Much easier when you do it, when you do it that way. Ah, final cut. See it? It's right there. It's zipped. So you want to be able to have that opportunity so that, to go back to it. So I'm like, ah, oh, it's not working out. So make sure before you do anything, or maybe it's too late and you're just like, can we just hurry up and get to the fix? I had my set update set to auto. All right, we've got you covered. So let's get started. So we're going to go into uh, Final Cut. I'm going to open it up. Okay, so, but now you know, you know what to do, what not to do. Make sure during this video, because you never know, something could, an update could push, you know, while you're doing this and then you're pretty much screwed. Uh, and thankfully, let me just oh, see App Store two updates. Let's see what those updates are. Huh, that's fine. Oh, this one definitely needs to be updated. Uh, but sometimes having the best is not always the best. Sometimes the best is actually a freaking nightmare. If you ask me, it's going to make that bigger so that we can see ourselves. All right. So what you want to do is this. This is how I have my settings in Final Cut that are is, it's preventing uh, now it's fixed. But we go here. Where's my menu? go here. And if we go, if you go to settings, right? Um, what you want to do is you'll have your general. I'm just going to go through the menu because most people, if someone's new, new with this, you have your, your editing, then you have your playback, right? See right there. This is what I have. You know, you can copy these settings if you like, but for here, this is key. I only have create proxy media selected. Okay. And then everything else I have, you know, deselected, but that works well for me. You can create optimized media, but, um, you know, I just, for me, the proxies work well, but then, and plus with my machine, I don't, it's not very robust. So I need minimal, uh, resources being used and hogging things up because, you know, for the sake of the experience, I just want to splice cut, splice cut effect, you know, if you're like that. All right. Knowing that moving forward, once you have that set, right. Um, everything should work, but we want to make sure is this, if you go to view, right? See view it's proxy only. That's what I have it set to. So by default, um, yours could be set to 
original media. Now what happens is if it's set to the original media, if I click here, uh, well, I might have to use this since the mouse is just a little glitchy and press space bar. See, I get that spinning beach ball like you saw it's back there. It should be laying there. And then see, it's like, it's like, ah, ah, ah. it's like it jumps jumping from it's, it's not working. It's not working out, man. Sorry. You got to go. It's not me. It's you. <laughs> That's what I keep telling Final Cut. All right. So knowing that moving forward and now watch when I put it back into I wouldn't say proxy preferred, just do proxy only. Like, why would I prefer? Like, what's the difference between preferred and only? Only, right? All right. So now, if I press space bar. Look at that. that. didn't really do justice. See? Hmm. Interesting. And I'll go to a place where there's more words so that, you know, you can see the fluidness. Let's see. There we go. Fix that up. Or you can look at the diagram See. if you want. All right, knowing that, moving forward, we're going to put the buzzer in. I think the buzzer, I'm not sure. Hold on. Kind of neat, huh? And notice how the changes is really instantaneous. It's possible that it's instantaneous because it, the files have already rendered. Okay, uh, you know, you might it might take a little bit of time for you so that it can create that proxy media because the proxy wasn't created, then, you know, you might get a little bit bitchy in the beginning, but wait. 10, 15 or, or less, um, and you're fine. And to ensure that the proxy files are there, uh, we will go here into the main scratch disk, right? And then if you go to your project file, for me, it is here, clock, right? And then go to here. See how many, how big it is? 807, because it's an hour long. It's a soldering tutorial, like an hour long video. Yet uh, some folks like watching the soldering videos. Um, and then if you control click, it's for beginners though. And then building a clock. Show package contents, see? And if I go here into the date, see original media, rendered files, etc. cetera. Um, and then let's see, we can, you could always do the arrow key, see that? rendered files. We're not going to go here. We're going to go to original media. See that? Voila. So you have your files there and you have your rendered files folder, which has high quality media and other stuff, but it's not as big, right? As the, um, the media itself. So if we go here, scroll that down, see, and then what else can be shrunken down? Yeah. Thumbnail media peaks, etc. So you see, it's all there, but not, um, let's see what this one is. See, and if I scrub through it and stuff, I'll leave a link in. And if I go here, see, it's not very big. It's, you know, compared to the original files in the folder, which are huge. It's like a couple of many gigabytes. So we'll just go here uh, and then close that, close that. And then how to build a clock, see, and then motion templates, etc. We're not going to go into there, but you can, you get the idea. Uh, then you have, I don't use motion, but you know, because by default, some of the stuff is there, but if we go here, uh, I'll click here, this folder alone is 45 gigabytes, right? And then the other folder alone is how big 37 gigabytes. So almost like 80 gigabytes, right? And you see one more thing, see, it's still rendering. And when you first start your file this way, you might, it might come out red, media file missing because the proxy hasn't been created yet. So until the proxy is created, it'll be, you know, red, but it takes, you know, depending on how fast your machine is, it's definitely going to be faster once you're working with those proxies in general. But before you export your files, right, this is what will happen. So if I go here, uh, and my settings are a little bit different. Remember, I'll just show you one more time so that you can have a peek. Uh, if I go here, I go into right there. Whoops. Uh, my battery's draining faster. Oh no. Uh, we can ignore that for a day. All right. Um, go here, file and right next to file settings. See, I have mine set to 
but if you set it to 12, I just changed it. 12 is a little grainy, but if 12 works for you, that's fine. Because if you know, if you know what you're doing, 12 can be ideal and faster. 25 is also good too. 25 also enhances the quality and makes it a little bit better. Um, but you'll gauge it because as you can see at 25 or 12, decide which one's bet. 50% might be a little overkill, but watch what will happen next. This is one more thing you have to do before you export the file. So if I go here, share, right? And I go 4K. See, this project is currently set to use proxy media. So when you export it, this is what you want to do. You want to go back, right? View. And then from view, um, optimized original. Okay, so now when you're done and you want to export, you're just going to optimize original. And now if I go to sh uh, share again, all right, this is the only part that's a little glitchy on my machine, that little menu that's on the top. And if I go here, right, right, and we want to click in, see like, where did it go? I don't see the share. So you want to make sure that you're in the timeline. Okay, so put that in the timeline. If that doesn't work with the mouse, just do that. You know, make sure something is selected and then you now and you go here, see that little action thingy and then you go up and then you go there. Right. Make sure you're in that box. This is for the new guy now. Right. If I go here to file, see now I can go to share and if I go to 4K, as long as you media shot in 4K, of course, um, you're, you know, it's going to be pretty decent size, two gigabytes, and just double check your settings here. Make sure, you know, your settings are optimal for whatever it is. For me, it's 4K. That's here. Uh, so you see my aspect ratio resolution um, is that, and that's it. Okay. So now I'm just going to click next and, and then here, save to desktop and that's it. So that's why you want to keep those settings the way I had them uh, here so that everything is just streamlined and just works the way you want it to after the update and it was just driving me crazy i'm like oh my god and and thanks to the folks on reddit for providing the solution to this um but that's pretty much it it's a short video and now you can really use your beach ball at the beach instead of watching it spin on the computer anyway if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.